Hi everybody and welcome. Today I'm going to do a quick overview of our Scratch interface. Some of you know Scratch, but many of you don't know Scratch. So this might be the first time that you're actually going to be doing any sufficient work uh, or substantial work with Scratch now that you are taking computer science. So I want to go over the interface quickly. This is not going to be a long video. Uh, just kind of just touching base on what everything is so that when you are in class and you hear some of these words, you know what we are talking about. Right along the top here where my mouse is, this is the header, okay? So here we've got um, a quick link back to the Scratch page. We have the file where we can create a new document or save uh, our current project or we can load a current project. We have the edit button as well. Not much that we're going to do with this one. We have tutorials here, and I didn't mean to click that, so I'll go back. We have the tutorials here, and then here is where we can name our project. Directly below, we have the block palette. And this block palette, we have the nine main areas of code, and they're all color-coded, which is really neat too. If you don't know what category your code is in, it's also scrollable and then we can see the codes that we will be using. The block palette has our code tab, our costumes tab where we have our paint editor if you want to do any work with sprites and we have our sounds tab as well. I'm going to jump back to our code tab here where we have all of our code listed because it is here um, that we will click and drag our code into this next area of the screen, which is the code area. And here is where we'll do all our programming for our sprite. And over down here in this tab here, we have our sprite pane, and then we have our stage right above it, which is right here where the cat is. Now we have two different types of stages. We have the main stage here, and then we have the little mini stage. So you can really focus here on your coding area while you are programming your projects. When you're wanting to go and test out your projects, I always have my students make that stage a little bit larger, or even if they're in like the final testing of their project, we will go into full screen and we will uh, work on our project and we'll test our project and look for any bugs there. But while we are actually creating, then we are either in this um, button right here to have our screen at this size, which is the regular size, but I like to work on the mini size here. Down at the bottom, we also have something called a backpack. And it is here, now my backpack is empty, but we can save code down here and then we can use them across multiple projects. That is a quick overview of our Scratch interface. As you go through more of the lessons and you work on some of these projects that we have for you, you will get to know this editor a lot more in depth. So thanks for watching.